it's Ray. Hello. Tristan and Gypsy <laughs> and Victor. Um, we are going to do hashtag Rusty's questions from the channel Mama G Gear. If you've never seen it, you gotta. I love them both. They're so creative and artistic and just they have wonderful souls. So we are going to do their questions. Gypsy, you want to read the first one? What is your favorite decade? What is your favorite decade? Mm, I think that the medieval decade is the best because they have all that cool stuff like knights and they had kings and yeah the medieval decade is the best gypsy the 1930s due to the animation music and fashion at the time 1930s um if i had to pick a decade it would probably be the 90s um i was really into like i don't know i kind of had my own style it was like gothic grunge hippie we had like a mishmash of tons of fashion, music styles. I really, I really like that. Next question. If you made a dinosaur or discovered one, what would you name it? And what would its coolest feature be? Mm. You gonna answer? Uh. Mm, Creeposaurus. Creeposaurus. And I would name it that because its coolest feature is it it just it is a meat eater or a plant eater but it what it does is it, it stalks prey it, like it stalks it by creeping it out. It creeps out the dinosaurs that it hunts. You're supposed to look over there baby. So its special channel is being creepy. Gypsy? Uh, a lot of ums. Want me to come back to you? Yeah. Okay. Um, Dinosaur name. Levasaurus. And its special feature is it's super cuddly. <laughs> Um, Chefosaurus, it's like an expert cook. Chefosaurus and an expert cook. Does it breathe fire to cook its meals? That's a dragon. <laughs> Next question. Um, what is the ideal number of letters in a word? Hmm. Hmm. Two. Four. Why? Um, I'm gonna go with three. So, yeah. That works. Next question. Do you prefer the great giant pandas or the red pandas? Hmm. I actually don't really like pandas. <gasps> I'm so sorry, people. What is it? You so got which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? The red ones or the regular ones? I don't know. <laughs> red ones, I guess? Why? I don't know. I just picked a random one. I don't really like pandas. That is so horrible, right? I don't know. I didn't raise him that way. Gypsy? I like red pandas. Why? Because they're very cute and the other ones look too plain. She said red pandas. They're cute, and the others look too plain. I like the giant pandas. <laughs> Sorry. Victor was giving his opinion. He's very opinionated on that, I guess. Um, I like the giant pandas because they're super cuddly, and if you ever see them on videos, like, they have all these videos on YouTube of just, like, especially the baby pandas, they'll just roll around everywhere. And I think it's cute. I do. I think it's cute, Victor. Next question. What is your second favorite <laughs> holiday? You may include your first. Hmm. Second favorite's gotta be <laughs> Easter. First one is Halloween. Halloween. 
Gypsy? Well, my first one is Halloween, and I don't have a second favorite. <laughs> uh, my second favorite holiday would have to be Earth Day. Um, yeah. Every day should be Earth Day, though. Go plant a tree. Um, and my first favorite holiday is, of course, Halloween. We're a very big into Halloween family. We have always have decorations all over our house that are from Halloween because they're just awesome. And we do a lot of arts and crafts for Halloween as a family. And we just kind of go all out. Next question. Do you use public bathrooms? Yes. Also, yes. Only if I absolutely have to will I use a public restroom. I'm kind of a germaphobe. Next question. When eating grapes, do you bite them or do you pop them in whole? I pop them in whole. I bite them? I bite them. Yeah, I don't think I ever really... Yeah, I like with my grapes in my mouth and wait for the deuces to like in and then I eat the shell. What? The shell? The, yeah. You mean the skin? Yeah. <laughs> the shell. Oh, grapes have shells now. Next question. <laughs> What's your favorite mythical creature or mythical uh, character? Hmm. I will need you guys to come back to me on that one. I do not have one. I like a lot of them. Okay, so list a few. I don't remember their names. <laughs> I got it. Okay. Necromancers. I don't know if that's... Necromancers. Okay. Um, Mythical creature or character. Necromancers. <laughs> Come on, man. Um, mythical creature or character? A uh, character would be Puck. Because um, he's always playing, like, tricks on people. Um, mythical creature. I would have to go with the dragon. Actually, probably one of my favorite mythical characters would be Hades. He's yeah. actually, like, one of the nicest people in the actual stories, surprisingly. I don't know if people can hear you. You're talking so soft, Jip. I wasn't talking so Um, her, she said her mythical creature, in case it's not picking up her voice, is Hades. She said because it's one of the nicest. Calm down, Tristan. He's the nicest one in the story, surprisingly. Alright, next question. Um, do you have a middle name? And if so, what is it? I do not remember my middle name. Yes, you do. Tristan. No, I do not. Tristan is his middle name. Titus is his first. That is like the biggest... Edit it out. Edit, edit. Stop. That is the biggest fight me and my husband have always had is naming the children. We've actually gone so far as to see <clears throat> who would get to name the kids if we ever got a divorce. We're very serious about it. Uh, my husband picked Titus for Tristan's first name, and I picked Tristan. And I was like, fine, if that's going to be his middle name, he's always going to go by Tristan. And he always goes by Tristan. He refuses to use his first name. Gypsy? Anne. Her middle name is Anne. I have a middle name. It's Anne. My mom's middle name is Anne. It's kind of like a family tradition, so I kind of kept it. <laughs> Next question. Um, final question. What is your life motto? Don't have one. He hasn't been long enough to live long enough to figure out his life motto, Jip. I also do not have one, just as I do not have a life. She said she doesn't have a life model, because she doesn't have a life. Um, 
My life motto would have to be not to judge others. Like, judge anything. Like, even little creatures and stuff. Like, I used to um, be a lifeguard at a pool. And I would spend most of the time in the pool scooping out, like, bees or dragonflies or anything that fell in. Like, even little spiders and stuff. Because who am I to judge that my life is more important in the grand scheme of things than a bee's? So, that's always been my life motto. Don't judge anything, really. Or at least I try not to judge. I do kind of judge pink. I don't like pink. But I try not to judge. So, that's my life motto. Trying not to judge. Um, there's no tag. Mama G tagged everybody. Mama G and Rusty. Everybody's been tagged. So, if you want to do it, I'm going to... Write down Rusty's questions down below. Go check out Mama G and Rusty's answers because it's a lot more calm and cohesive than my own. Interesting. All right, everybody say bye. Bye. Bye.